Hello everyone, praise be to God and welcome to the final episode of Mandel's Maze Mayhem, the last episode of this Maze Madness fan pack. I'm kind of getting sad, because this has been a really fun pack. Even though the last two worlds have been brutally difficult and kind of annoyed me, the pack as a whole is very well done. So we're going to the last world today, only five levels left. This world is called Alloy Nightmare. Well, let's try this. Three, two, one, go. Let's get going! Hey look, it, this looks like the custom level that I made for the tutorial video. Alright, looks like I had to lure him away. I mean, this doesn't look too bad. Alright, this doesn't look nearly, well, this first room anyways doesn't look nearly as bad as the last few worlds. <laughs> that one dogfish over there is just like, Arr. gotta get to the exit. Arr. Oh, sweet, extra life. Is this going to be a case of a level that <laughs> I want to avoid getting all the jump seats if I can see? Dogfish. It's like impossible to wear all of them. One of them is always gonna get stuck around the exit. Oh come on, that's that's hard to be fair. Looks like we'll be turning on into the lines sooner than expected. Wow. Ironically, after you destroy everything in the room, that room becomes like impossible. Right? You can't distract all the dogfish in time. Always one's just gonna hover around the exit like a jerk. Remember when I said this world wasn't as bad as the last two? My mistake. because I have to get both of the dogs to follow me at the same time. Because if one of the- because if one of them is chasing me and the other cuts me off, I'm dead. Nothing I can do about it. Oh great, yeah. For all three dogfish. Yeah, sure. Why not? They're all in the same place. He thinks he's a different animal besides dogfish phaser. Oh yeah, and they're, they're literally trapped there. They are all trapped there. There's nothing I can do to get past them. I can't lure them out anymore. They are all trapped on that side, so this is impossible now. Oh, 
I'll try not to use them unless uh, I really have no choice. For example, in a situation like that, I will use the infinite bubbles. I was using it there just because I got bad luck. That was pure and simple. That was just plain bad luck. And yep, this is a situation where I literally need infinite bubbles. If more than one dogfish is on the same side of the level, there's nothing you can do about it. If they're all, if more than one dogfish is on the left side of the level, then you are screwed. Unless you have infinite bubbles turned on. Don't like that. Alright, what are we up against here? Well, that's counterintuitive. Why is it when you enter the whirlpool on the left, it takes you to the one on the right? Speaking of counterintuitive, how in the world are you supposed to navigate through that? There's literally no room to navigate through that. disapprove of that. Take that. Another reason I turned on infinite bubbles is because I really do not want this episode to take two hours to record. My sister Marty has predicted it will take me an hour and 15 minutes to get through this world, so let's see if she is right or not. Later. <laughs> I like the look of this room. I really like the look of this room. Holy cow, this is a very nice room. I use the bubbles there just to speed things up a bit. Oh, hi, okay. Hinges be crazy. All right, well, I kind of want that bag of pearls. Oh, now we're getting up to the five room levels. Okay. Or do I want? Oh, hang on a second. If I push the hinge down there, can I find my way around? If I push that hinge down there, can I find my way around? I can and I will find my way around both. Alright. Oh, this is interesting. It's like, oh, thanks for the sandwich, man. Really appreciated it. This is 
is a kind of cool room. I like this room. Even if dodging the crabs can be a bit of a pain in the butt. But this is why we have unlimited balls. And unlimited lives. Yeah, for any, if anybody gives me a hard time about using the junior helpers, like, come on. These are the last ones. This stuff is trying to be as difficult as possible. Alright, now I actually kind of want to kill me a little bit. Because for these holes, I don't even see how it's possible to navigate past these dogfish without using infinite bubbles, or just the enemies in general, because it's... the pathways are just one way big. This is the best designed room of the level. Less so when you come at it from that side, though. call me a cheater, honestly. Because at this point, I don't really care about proving anything. I've already proved I'm incompetent at this pack. I'm just trying to have fun at this point, and I'm just trying to show off everything. And if this helps me do it fast and helps me show off everything, then by all means, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. No, my, my, wor my worm doodle. Yeah, that took almost 15 minutes just to get for the first level when I had both the junior helpers on. So yeah, this will be fun. We're on level 47 now. Oh, I like the look of this look room. Look at all of Grandma Grouper's coaxies. All right, where am I gonna well, start? here goes nothing. <laughs> Somewhere close to the middle? Probably not. All right, I start up here. <laughs> Off to a great start. I'm gonna try to avoid you. <laughs> All right, four rooms, one for each purple seer. Okay then. This is interesting. Oh, if I could get a dog. Well, hang on. There's literally no way through that without having bubble bath. I expect to see Bubble Bath somewhere on this level. Oh, I don't even know what my end game of this room is. What is the purpose of these red rocks? Is there any purpose to these red rocks? It doesn't seem to be. No. Guess I'll just shoot these guys up. <laughs> He's a rough! That was mean. Actually, I'd say that that was pretty rough. Oh, come on! It's like they always know I'm about to trap them, and then they're like, no, no, you do it. No. It's almost like they have intelligence. Take that. If there's a way to reliably get through these rooms without using infinite bubbles, I don't see it. <laughs> and I really don't want to have to take a bunch of time sussing it out. These rooms look really good. Though. A plus on the graphics job. And give me more of them anglerfish. I could deal with anglerfish all day. Okay. Oh, this is nasty. So now we're getting... <laughs> this is how many enemies I would put on a typical custom level myself. That's in-game custom level. Anyway. 
Ooh, that was strange. I could destroy that sponge even though I had to turn to do it. Alright. I'm probably gonna avoid setting the squid free for as long as possible. I will not to. Because the squid are rather annoying little enemies. Oh. <laughs> Did you enjoy your dinner? What do I do? <laughs> I do like how the enemies have longer eat animations depending on whether they hit you horizontally or vertically. It's kind of fun. So if they hit you <laughs> vertically, they have sometimes a longer or a shorter animation. So the shark will have a really long one if they eat you when you're going up or down. Whereas if they're going left or right, it'll be a rather short one. <laughs> Alright, what's behind door number four? Oh, this is the third door, my bad. Okay, oh, that's a skull. That's a skull made out of steel, that's fun. Okay. <laughs> Getting flashbacks to some of our custom models. Oh, come on! That's not good design. I mean, I know it's a skull, so... Maybe that's the intention, but still. Splat! Don't know how the angler fish or the, how the squid was going to be. Out of my way. Yeah, I'm really glad I turned on infinite bubbles. Because <laughs> this is kind of the point of the game where if you don't have the junior helpers on, the game's not all that fun. Alright, final door. Oh no. Bad design already. Orange kelp gates are the worst. Especially in this sort of circumstance, where it's completely up to luck whether or not you'll get through or not. So you could just wind up waiting here forever. Don't forget that. This room would just... Like, half these rooms would be absolutely terrible if you didn't have the junior helper on. Come on, you told me, Mandels, that you tested these and you don't need... I guess you technically don't need the junior helper, but holy cow, it wouldn't be fun without the junior helper. Pick the worst kelp gate of all. Beat it. Oh. All right, well. 
I, yeah, I'm really glad I just flat out turned on the Junior Helper at this point. It's helped me enjoy these levels a lot more. Like, I am having fun for doing these, but I would not be having fun doing these without the Junior Helpers on. Ooh, worm noodles and sandwiches. Let me guess, I can only pick one or the other. Well, I have unlimited lives, so I'm picking the bubble. I didn't realize the pedals could hit more than one enemy. I thought they could only hit one vein. What's back here? <laughs> Okay, that is an awful lot of blowfish. That's kind of funny. Alright. There's one fish bone here. It's pretty obvious how to destroy it. Alright. This is interesting. <laughs> well, I'm not using my spiral shell here because I can avoid it. Oh, that was so good though. <laughs> that was less good. Oh wait, no, I do have to use... Oh, shoot. Yeah, those pesky sponges. It's Sponge. Alright. A plus programming. Seriously, what is with the sponges in this game? They are very good. That's where I came from, so I can go back this way down here. Alright, that's where I want my sea urchin to go. You can earn extra lives by abusing infinite bubbles. How about that? Oh, hi. <laughs> A thousand potions, good sir. Just trying to get your kelp seeds, no need to worry. Yeah, I'm totally cheating at the end, but who cares? Actually, it's not cheating, man. Very clearly gave me the option to cheat. It's like typing in the Cheeto codes in Banjo-Kazooie. And banjo too. All the Banjo games you're allowed to cheat, so why can't I cheat in this one? Last room. There are a lot of starfish here. Oh, hi. There are a lot of sharks here as well. <laughs> oh, 
come back here later when I get another spiral showing, so... I just saw a weird graphical glitch over there. I don't think I'm crazy. Was there another way to go in the first room, I wonder? Or could I have only gone to the left? I think I could have gone up as well, but I bet it all leads to the same place. the hang of this level a little bit. That's what happens when you give yourself unlimited bubbles to blast the enemy with. Wait, I'm confused. Oh wow, are you for real? Finally, see how we're going to do this. Get this one into the exit. Partially in the end of This way, I believe. Cool. Full circle. Out of my way, dogfish. This is no time. No time for your shenanigans. That's perfectly all right. <laughs> I want to get that purple sea urchin, though. Yeah, this is the only sea urchin on the level, so we can get a bubble or we can get an extra sandwich. I got unlimited sandwiches, so we both know what the answer is going to be. My wrath. All right, two levels left. Sweet. Yeah, these levels are quite enjoyable when you don't have to worry about dying or getting past obstacles. Holy cow. Sorry if this kind of takes away the from the experience, but I'm in a hurry. Let's see, going in here, is there anything lying out that I can just nab? I don't think there is, no. There are a lot of doors in this level, holy cow. Bubbles are wonderful things. Bubbles are wonderful things. Act like a shield that make you invincible. Don't know where that song's going. Oh, I didn't hear the sound effect that said my bubble ran out. Also, I got... That's right. Orange is so terrible. Oh, also, my worm doodle ran out twice. That's it. That's it. Um, 
that was bad. Why would he do that? <laughs> These are the correct kelp gates to use. Mmm, <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> did it, huh? Did it. <laughs> this is the quality commentary that you watch Colorful RD for, isn't it? I feel like I'm not saying much. There's not a lot for me to say. I'm just kind of exploring the levels and seeing what's up. There we go. There's the one sand dollar that we need. <laughs> to move a specific amount of distance away from those hatches in order for them to dispense them. I just saw the graphical glitch again. Very bizarre. I do dig the really groovy, groovy music. It's quite nice. Also, I, I do appreciate all the effort you're going through to make these levels pretty. I'm a big fan of pretty levels. I'm less of a fan of backtracking, though, and that's kind of what you're making me do big time. Oh, hey. Yeah, I must say, <laughs> the first seven worlds of this are really, really good. Maybe with one world exception. Like, world three, I think it was, wasn't so great. The one that introduced the orange sponges. And the last three worlds, I was really not a fan of. I mean, they look pretty, and they're tough. If you if intended them to be tough, then you, you did it, Mandels. You did it, but... The last two worlds just are fun, and I have a big problem with that. <laughs> so if you make an update to the pack, maybe Maybe twerk. Not twerk. I do not recommend you twerk. Tweak the levels of man, I would say. That would be my suggestion. Maybe just focus more on making them fun or at least, like, feasible without the junior helpers. I failed to see how these levels would be possible without the junior helpers. I really do. So again, if, you're, if your goal is just to make a tough level pack, then congrats, you definitely succeeded that by the end, but <laughs> if your goal is to make, like, a super, super fun level pack that anyone can pick up, well, I would say that it's lacking a few areas. Well, 
Well, that took a lot longer than it should have. I just went through... Yeah, this level just... It forces you to backtrack a whole lot, which... If you know me at all, I don't really like backtracking. Unless there's a way to quickly get back to where you were. Which is kind of where, um... What game is it? Metroid Prime does a good job of that, where it's like, oh, you have to go back to this area, but you get a teleport to that area. Uh, yeah. And then there's just... You can easily just get stun locked in place. Like, if that shark refuses to move, then there's not a whole lot you can do. And by that I mean there is literally nothing <laughs> Alright, last level of Mandel's Maze Mayhem, level 50. This is the big one, folks. Let's see what it's all about. <laughs> Something jellyfish, let's get all those <laughs> Okay, wow. Alright then. <laughs> Very subtle. Looks like it's the great purple sea urchin on time. <laughs> Oh, 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 I wonder, will he implement my idea for a level? I had a really interesting idea for a Maze Madness hole that I was going to put in my pack until I stopped making my pack. And I won't say what it is, just on the off chance that I'm completely wrong and I could still potentially make a really unique level. But, oh, if I'm right, I will point it out. Now I need that spiral shell. <laughs> Let's say I did not see a level like this coming into play. It looks like there's going to be one kelp seed at the end of the level, and you just have to get a whole butt ton of purple sea urchins in order to reach it. <laughs> Alright, you may hurt me now, or eat my sandwiches. I don't share food normally, but I'll allow it in this instance. Okay, we need to destroy that. Got a backtrack. Thank you. That was nice. Well, we got the sand dollar. Before I forget, let's go back and get the other spiral shell. Yeah, that... This set of gates right here literally exists for no reason other than to just add back. Don't really see why. Ever have one of those days where you just can't win you? Honestly though, this is a fun last level. Again, thanks to the junior helpers. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of purple sea urchins here. 
I'm guessing this is all leading up to one spectacular bonus room. Beautiful. Infinite lives makes definitely very feasible. Alright. So we did all that. I'm gonna hold off on getting those until later, I think. Tell me, did this take inspiration from my boulder run custom? <laughs> it certainly looks like it. Oh ho! Oh, sh you jest. Okay, well, I see what's up now. <laughs> well then, I wonder where the bonus room could be. Alright, good. I have enough to open all the gates. Okay, so that's where the kelp seed is. Where would the bonus room crack be, though? I can't see it. I'm really terrible at identifying where the bonus crack is. Scepter, shall we? Alright, and I guess Mandels did not do the thing I was wondering if he was going to do. Oh, there's our next crack. How did I miss that? You need the bubble in order to get to this bonus room. That's cool. All right, then. I don't think there's a single bonus scepter that opened the bonus room outside of the room the scepter was in. Oh, this is a glorious bonus room. This is a glorious, glorious bonus room. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you did not disappoint with this one. That was also not even the hardest bonus room. Right? Not even close. Oh, I'm having too much fun! Oh, I love this room. Best room in the game. The sprites are gonna. The amount of sprites that can be rendered on screen is gonna quickly run out. Look at that score skyrocket! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! There are also these bonus guys in there. Look at that! I was just like, pearls need pearls, need treasure. I'm playing DuckTales Remastered. All about that treasure. Uh oh, my bubble ran out before leaving the bonus room. That's probably not good. That last room is spectacular, by the way. The room at the end of all of the purple steel chain gates. Okay. 
I won't say what I was expecting. Because who knows, maybe I'll make my own pack one day, and I will absolutely be doing that on one of the levels. Come on, I pushed the space bar. Or not space bar, I pushed enter. Oh, right. That last world was fun purely because I turned on both junior helpers. <laughs> Woohoo! So that was Mandel's Maze Mayhem. Thanks everybody for watching this series. Mandel's, I did have a lot of fun playing this. At the end, it got less fun just because of how tough it all was getting at the end. I, like, I liked the earlier levels where it's just like, oh, this is really cool. And I really, really liked finding all the bonus rooms. Because oftentimes there were really cool puzzles in order to get to the bonus rooms. I really appreciate that. They were so well done. And to be fair, as, as much as I have criticized some of your design choices, you are far, a much better level designer at this than I was. <laughs> so I go back and play my levels and they are awful. I mean, some of them are bad, and I do do some cool things, but I do not know anything about balance. I, I made those levels basically like, yeah, have the junior helpers on at all times. I did not design them to be at all possible without them, so that's just me. Thanks for making this pack. I hope you appreciate. I, I hope you enjoyed my let's play of it. <laughs> and and if people want to put, give this a shot themselves, I have included in the down in the uh, description for each video the download link to these levels. Feel free to play those uh, on your own. I know they, uh, I they are pretty well designed. About so. those worm doodles, Freddy. After lunch, Luther. Jeez. Aww. Okay, but just this one. Thank you, Freddy! Thank you, thank you, thank you! After all, the worm goggles are kind of what helped us survive that. Well, that's going to be it for this Let's Play. Thanks so much to everybody who watched. Uh, be sure to thank Mandels for making these levels in the description. He's awesome. And I, I, I just had a blast playing this. <laughs> Again, the last three worlds were... Kind of difficult, <laughs> but I really, really did enjoy this pack, and it's, this this game is just awesome. I really like Maze Madness. Anyhow, look forward to future Let's Plays of mine if you are interested in joining the, uh, me for those. Uh, I look forward to seeing you then, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and as always, may God bless you wherever you are.